This is a pretty interesting puzzle. It makes you really think about the ordering in which you go about things. So we have this flat surface on the bottom, and we're stuck on top of this little protrusion. Uh, one of the first things you'll notice is the only way to get off of this protrusion is to walk down this little channel, uh, recalling a previous rule of thumb uh, that you should look to uh, ways to exploit asymmetry. So let's just go there right now. The second thing you notice, if you start going about this, or rather, it's probably good to plan ahead. You're going to need a, uh, like all previous puzzles in this world, you're going to need a concave move to f finish off the world and get you trapped at the end. So we have one, two, three uh, around the, the box that we started from. So we're going to have to use one of those at the end. So let's start walking around and taking care of um, all the other surfaces and, le and end up on the right side. So we're walking, great, eliminating things thoroughly, that's another rule of thumb for here. Okay, we've ended up in a weird situation. We need to take care of the box above us and below us. Um, this actually ends up being a problem, you'll end up isolating yourself. We should start over. Okay, back down to the bottom. Now if you look here carefully, what I did earlier was move, I moved up from here, but instead, let's move to the right and then up. We can still continue to go thoroughly around, but we'll eliminate the ordering problem that we had here. See, we can move smoothly around this way. Okay, now we're at another crossroads, but remember, this is the last side. We're going to end up getting trapped at the end up there, so let's take care of all the other parts walk around and finish it. 